Kensinger. G6 hearings yesterday. Who, All right, who won the tug of war over there? Uh, clearly, clearly, Colonel Steve Austin did. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> He's going to eat you. All right. Uh, yesterday, he was uh, gnawing happily on one of uh, Malcolm Nance's sandals, which I had to retrieve from him. He's so well behaved. He's still a puppy. He's just a baby. What's Malcolm? Did you leave something on the floor? Don't do that. I yeah. I got it back before there was any destruction. He he's, okay. he stole my mask out of my bag over here. Oh well, yeah. Well, okay. Uh, <laughs> thieving man whore. Uh huh. All right. Here is uh, Liz Cheney to uh, Pat Cipollone. So, are you aware of any phone call by the President of the United States to the Secretary of Defense that day? Not that I'm aware of. No. Are you aware of any phone call by the President of the United States to the Attorney General of the United States that day? No. Are you aware of any phone call by the President of the United States to the Secretary of Homeland Security that day? I, I'm not aware of that, no. Hmm. Oh, well, interesting. You'd, you'd think you'd have some people to call that day. Yeah. Okay, Pat Cipollone, one more. Your advice was to tell people to leave the Capitol, and it took over two hours. When there were subsequent statements made, tweets put forth, that in your view were insufficient. Did you continue, Mr. Cipollone, throughout the period of time up until 417, continue, you and others, to push for a stronger state? Yes. Were you joined in that effort by Ivanka Trump? Yes. By Eric Hershey? Yes. By Mark Meadows? Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. And then a security official mm-hmm. about that. To be completely honest, uh, we were all in a state of shock. Because why? Because, because it's just... One, I think the actual physical feasibility of doing it, and then also we all knew what that indicated and what that meant, that this was no longer a rally, that this was going to move to something else if he physically walked to the Capitol. I, I don't know if you want to use the word insurrection, coup, whatever. We all knew that this would move from a normal, uh, democratic, you know, public event into something else. Okay, this was, uh, I think, the part that Malcolm Nance was saying. Yeah. Uh, it terrified him the most is just the uh, these two about the Secret Service. I can't get the building. Hold. Arjun, go around. If we're moving, we need to move now. Stop it. If we lose uh, any more time, we may have we may lose the ability to to leave. So if we're going to leave, we need to do it now. I gained access to the second floor, and I've got public about five feet from me down here below. They are on the second floor, moving in now. We may want to consider getting out and leaving now. Yeah, and then this part about them calling their families. Well, I was going to say, also with that tape, also, the, yeah. and this is, I think, where the, the television producer came in, yeah. the way they synced that audio up over the security camera yeah. footage yeah. that we had. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. That was amazing. That yeah. was like it, yeah. it brought a whole new level to that. Yeah, what put you there? Yeah, yeah. The, the terror that people felt uh, this morning. The members of the VPT tell at this time were starting to fear for their own lives. Um, there were a lot of there was a lot of yelling, um, a lot of um, uh, a lot of very personal calls um, over the radio. So uh, it was disturbing. I don't I'm like talking about it, but. Um, uh, that there were calls to um, say goodbye to family members, so on and so forth. It was getting, for, for whatever the reason was on the ground, the VPT tell thought that this was about to get very ugly. Yeah. Um, also, the thing Malcolm said last night in the book event, and also I think on our show, is that they will find these Secret Service texts. I hope so. <clears throat> I mean, uh, so there, the Inspector General's investigation into the Heart Department of Homeland Security over the missing texts from January 5th and 6th has now become a criminal probe. Mm-hmm. The results of what unfolded could also be referred to federal prosecutors for indictment. The DHS Inspector General informed the Secret Service on Wednesday evening that the investigation is now criminal and that it should all, uh, all internal investigations on the missing they should end all Mm -hmm. of their own investigation yeah the letter was sent to secret service director james murray murray's about to leave the secret service to go take a job at snapchat which is allows you to erase your messages you send them ironically what they right started but you know that was the one thing malcolm seemed sure of is they they will find these texts they have them they're not they're never i hope so yeah i hope so right yeah how would how could they be gone in today's right you know i don't understand any of that Something cloud, whatever. But you know what I, mean. I just I feel like these are people who work. They're security professionals. They know how to make things disappear. Yeah, they would know how to make their own text disappear. That's my I, biggest concern. Yeah. I 
guess, but it would take a lot, right, to make. But they know a lot. Oh, they know how to do it. Yeah, boy.